In this tutorial, you will learn how to use iClone and Movie Edit Pro to provide a quick and easy platform for video editing. Everyone who would like to embark on additional editing outside of the options presented by the iClone Studio can now use Magic's Movie Edit Pro to simply arrange and affect their footage almost effortlessly. So let's get started. Open iClone and create multiple projects, or one large project, and use the frame constraints located under the viewport to specify a specific region of the project to render. To render, go to Export, Video, choose AVI output of DVD NTSC 720x480 for your size, and then select the Export button. In the Select Kodak window, choose your compression or choose Full Frames Uncompressed, and then click OK button to begin your iClone render. Now let's open up Magic's Movie Edit Pro and name your new movie, then select the OK button. Click on the Import File button to import the footage clips you wish to edit. Navigate to the footage files and click OK to import. Since we are using high definition, we may want to adjust the settings down, simply to have better performance while we are movie editing. When asked if you want to attach the clip to the movie, say Attach in order to add it to the project. Click the Edit button from the top toolbar. This will show you all the clips in order placed on the timeline back to back. You may arrange them in any order if they were not imported in the correct sequence at this point. One of the really cool features of Magic's Movie Edit Pro is the Intelligent Mouse Mode, which will intuitively help you move all the objects behind the selected object to maintain the order. You have the option of cutting and trimming your clips down once inside the Timeline Mode. To do this, you can simply scroll over the clip's edge and then click and drag to edit out any extra time that you may wish to get rid of in order to shorten your movie. Add title, intro, and credits by placing intro credit title effects at the beginning and end of your timeline. Go to the Title tab and select from all the various different types of title effects they have. Drag the title effect to the front or the back of your clips and double click on it to activate the title editor menu. Enter in the text you wish to use or select from a font style and size or click the color swatch to select a custom text color setting plus you can add in subtitles to your scenes. Just place the subtitle under the video clip you wish to display your subtitle in. Locate and click on the Storyboard Mode button from the left-hand navigation. Once you're in the Storyboard Mode, then you can quickly choose from many different transitions to place between your clips. To do this, simply right-click on the transition between the clips and choose whichever default works best for your movie. Finally, export your movie. Go to File, Export Movie, Video as AVI, then navigate to the file location. Make sure your file size is the render output you want and click on the OK button to begin the final render. Magic's Movie Edit Pro helps iCloners create, direct, and edit their movies faster and with more accuracy. It's almost like magic. So, without further ado, let's check out the final video.